now crm what are crm now as a customer support in virtual assistant customer support is one of the major roles one of the vital thing you need to you will do as a virtual assistant so customer support is like you representing a company to help their customers with their needs maybe a customer buy something from the company and then he's supposed to report back and they ask maybe you have some feedbacks maybe the, because the product did not work and all of that so the, these companies employ you as a virtual assistant that specifically in customer support to help them answer some of these customers inquiries right so it's one of the major job you'll be getting as a virtual assistant that's why you need to pay close attention to this particular part of this course now CRO it means customer relation management how do you manage your customers how do you manage your clients the people that are coming to make you know make some inquiries or somebody is calling to give you a query or they i bought this this is not working or how is this your product and all of that so you need to know how to manage them now we have tools you will use to manage them and those tools are called crm tools customer relation management tools we have a lot of them out there we have zoho we have pd stripe we have plenty of them but for this course we are going to be focusing on hubspot because it's completely for free and it's very easy for you to understand i have used it in the past so that's what i'm giving you experientially right so now you come to google and you type hubspot it's going to show you the, the link and you're going to go there now before i go let me explain in details how hubspot work hubspot is just like a, a platform like it's just a, a software like your phone okay now in your phone if i want to get your number i will collect your number collect your name and then save it in my phone now when i save it in my phone anytime i need you i will either call you whatsapp you test you email you or any other means right is the same thing with crm tools crm tools is just platform is just like your phone now you collect your clients information put it in that crm tools and then when you need them or when you next you need to reply to them you can either call them through those platform or email them or test them or even whatsapp them on that in platform so that's why you need it as a customer support but you need to understand that you don't need to stress yourself with these tools the company that is hiring is the one to get these tools right and then when they get the tools they will give you access to it and you manage them for it so you are not paying any money you are not doing anything you just know how to manage them which is going to be my focus for this part right so if you come to google you click on hubspot so we are going to click on hubspot now it's very simple to register i'm not going to be doing registration in this website today because i have an account already but if you are new to it it's going to bring you to this interface where it's going to ask you to get started or it's going to ask you to um go to my account so if you are new and you don't have any account here which most of you will not have so just click on get started you are going to put in your email or you are going to log in through your google account or any apple account or anyone so it's going to be log you automatically and we just pass through one or two steps that's all it's very simple for you just step by step if you're having any issue tell me on the comment section please do not come to my dm because my dm is full but if you are I'm always on the dm on the comment section i will answer every of your questions right now the thing here is that i'm not going to register right so because i already have an account but if you already have an account and you have registered the next thing to do is go to my account so you click on go to my account and then it's going to take you to this interface now i have only one account here so i'm going to click on it and then it's going to take me to the interface where we are going to manage our accounts all right where we are going to manage people's contacts so it brought me to this interface you see that we are seeing that we have bookmark we have crm we have marketing we have contents etc our major aim is crm this this particular platform can be used for many things hotspot can be used for many things but i have a free website with this hotspot i have the video on my channel you can check it up but then our focus is crm so we'll come to here and then we'll come on contacts and then we'll click on of course we want to manage people's contacts so we'll come on contact and click 
contact so it's going to load the interface of our contact for us now i don't have any contact on this particular thing right because it's a free account for me and if i want to add i can add as well but it's a free account now we have two of the contact that follows that is they are automated if they um, they, are, they were automatically created by hotspot so this is what we'll be using for the practicals so if you if a customer calls you and say ah i bought this sneakers from you and he just not just two days it's in spoiled and all you allow him to talk and when he's done you you now you know we are sorry about that sir please can i have your name and then that when you are talking to him well, say what's your name the name he used in purchasing it then what as he's giving you those information you now click on create or create you click on i'll set up myself and then it's going to open up a form for you where you are going to fill up that client's information let's say let's say his name is this is his email fmd dennis gmail.com of course this is my email so you can message me on email if you have any issue okay so i didn't write the, the, the ad correct so this is my email and then the name is dennis and then of course my name is omnireta okay so con contact number and then job title i'm a teacher of course i am a teacher and then phone number um you can put all the phone number uh, let's say you can just change it to nigeria let me just change it to nigeria please we are sorry i'm taking a lot of time because i want to do everything correct for you zero nine zero nine all right so that is it for that then you click on apply then here you have to put just choose anything maybe as a subscriber or anything and then you put the status maybe i'm new here and all of that then you click on as all this information as he's talking please what's your name you tell me you put the name you put it please can i get your email you put the email please can i get your phone number you can please put, do you, who are you you can just ask for the title but all these things the title is, may not be necessary but the key things are necessary his two names his email and his phone number this is very important then when you get the information you click on create as you are creating you are talking to him we are sorry about the inconveniences i am on it working for it and then he's going to take you to a platform where you are now going to manage those particular emails now look at it this is how it looks right this is how it looks but let me go back to the contact let me go back to the contact and show you how to get here so if this was your interface and then as you're already here like this you want to manage each of them so you can just come here and you see then it's a writer and then i'm going to click on it and then it's going to open it's going to open the interface now this place now is called database this is where the database is this is where to manage the client's information now this is where if they connect this hotspot with maybe the company can connect it to their phone call or anything this is where if somebody calls you it will ring you pick it here through their software and all of that right so it's simple like this now you can see that we are having the interface looking here so you can see that we this is dennis of narrator he's a teacher and this is his email and then of course now as he's talking you find out what is his problem and you write it as a note please take notes then you click on notes and then you are going to the right write it as a note maybe he, he complain he complained about his sneakers all right so he complained about his sneakers you just just put a the description of everything and then you click on create when you click on create a note is going to show now why is it important to create a note because you may not be working 24 over 7 you may be doing shift with somebody so if another person is on shift and that same person called what you need to do if the person calls uh, as he's calling you ask what's your name as he's giving your name you type it to session which i'm going to show you later and then if his name come up you say ah, this person is not a new customer it's an existing customer you will see that the information that somebody else another virtual assistant saved will come up and if the other person the other virtual assistant is going to follow up from there so you need to put a note and then the person is also going to see a note of what is wrong with this particular customer that is calling so they'll be able to follow up from there are you seeing it so this is how it's important for you to create a note 
Remember, you can do this on the phone from a laptop, but the laptop is good, but the phone as well is good. All right, so we have created a note and all of that. So this is how to do it. Now we have an email, so you can just because you got his email. So when you are done, you can click on email. If you want to send me like, send my email with a report of it, maybe when you are done, you can say, okay, we are sorry about that. We are working on it. I will respond to you through an email. So when you come here, you now click on email. And then of course you now start uh, let's say connect an email buzz and all of that and then you send me an email it's a very simple something to do right just click here it will show you connect your email when you connect your email i've not connected my email when you connect your email just click here to connect your email directly once your email is in, in your phone or your laptop to connect immediately and then you just see exactly how uh, the subject line the email to this you just send him an email direct from here you don't need to do anywhere that's why you need this two this two is one of the best out there the second best is zoho now if you want to call him direct here you can place press on a call but then on a call here is not free that's why i said the company that will be hiring will be connecting it will be having a pro own and they will connect it to a software that will enable you to call him directly from here because at some times the, the call is also coming to here if the client is calling is calling you through this platform that's why you need to be on like this all right all right so that's how to do it like that now of course you need to create a task now let's say that person complain about sneakers and then you want to create a task for that place so maybe you tell him that oh, i will reach out to the technical support to see how they can help you or to, to the to the sales team so i'll say i will you create a task and say i will i will i will inform the sales team the sales team sales, sales team about uh, this the sneakers complaint all right so you can just see that sorry i don't know that it, um some of these things are wrong so you just write what i'm a bit fast because this is teaching but your own is you are you're doing the job full-time job so you take your time and write this thing so that even the person who you who will be taking over from you maybe you are doing shit shit on all of it you will actually follow you from here and then you too when you are managing your clients as you are done with the call and maybe you pick another call you do it same, you pick another call you will be able to come back and attend to all of this when you do this you won't forget anything so of course you can see here in three business day so when will you want to do this tax may say i want to do the tax tomorrow morning by 8 15 pm in three business day you can actually change it from here to two business day and all of that and then you come here and the sorry here is in title of the complaint let's say sneakers and all of that so but this way to hear write the notes and when you are done you can actually you can set a reminder to remind you 30 minutes before the time so that you remind you that you're supposed to respond to this person because that is why you are employed so that you can don't keep their customers waiting the more active you are the more the client will think that the company is good why because of you so you need to be active with it so you now click, click on create and then when you click on create the task is going to be created so we have a task here that you're supposed to do so this is going to be reported directly to your email in the next text mentioning you that you're supposed to answer the social person on hotspot so it's going to help you to do that so you can see that everything here looks good right so you have to focus on the things that are peculiar to you right so you can see them here so you as they are talking you always ask for their information right so that's how to do that and then we'll now go back um the most important thing is under this under this which i've covered everything so we let's go back to contact and i'll show you the last thing before we end for today please kindly help me like this video please kindly help me subscribe i'm giving you this completely for free and i'll be giving you a certificate this is a very huge thing if you like this if you have not subscribed it takes nothing doesn't text any mb kindly help me subscribe i love you please kindly help me do that now let's come back to the interface like this now let's say you have all this con let's say the company have their already existing contact and when you are being employed they now give you the contact to a, to a spot right so you can now click here click on import and import all those contacts they may be in and let's say an excel format sheet a, a cell sheet or let's say a google sheet or any sheet at all or you can just when you click on import they will arrange by yourself their number and everything their status and everything once the company aligns it this way 
all right so this is how to do it like this of course you can see data quality you can see actions here you can manage duplicate if there is any normal here that is duplicated and so you always create this now let me let's say somebody called yesterday you were not at work yesterday another of your colleague was at work yesterday and then somebody called and then let's say the person's name is james and then your colleague registered the person's name sorry let's say use dennis because i have dennis here then the person's name is dennis and then the person say dennis and then you record it today and then today the person called again so as the person pick you ask him what's your name he said my name is dennis oh no he said my name is james now type now come to say as he's talking you are typing james then what's your so what's your last name you just say my name is james brown you notice that you don't have it now let's say you notice that you don't have it then you now quickly go to create an account for it but let's say the person is talking about um dennis i mean dennis now say please what is your soul name what is his, your soul name now say dennis or I mean a writer so when you type dennis or I mean a writer you are going to see that my name the name here is already showing that this person is an already existing customer and then you will now ask the person please what is the last two digit of your number he says ten I say okay what is your what is your email he calls his email because this is the person once you notice that this person is an already existing customer there's no need to create another um contact for you all you have to do is go here and then when you click on it say please hold on i'm checking on your profile oh we are well we are working on your profile then when you click on it you now see you now see a note that the person will say okay he complained about his sneakers now say, oh we are sorry about that you called yesterday you were complaining about your sneakers yes all right so we are going to attend to you now now you, you are seeing that you were not at work yesterday but you are following up that's why this tool is very very important so this is how to navigate all these tools now all the other tools here are good but then our focus is on crm so you can see that i've been able to cover almost everything here all right i've been able to cover almost everything so you can send newsletters as well you can click can unsubscribe and all the customers and all of this so you can just focus on what is peculiar to you so this is the end of today's class please and please if you kindly like what i'm doing here please kindly help me subscribe like this video now your assignment is simple the assignments i gave you is two number one is that please all the google tools i showed you that you need as a virtual assistant please go through all of them do everything that i do and if you go to the end of a world each of them screenshot like on the go calendar when you are done with scheduling for multiple things screenshot it when you are done with the typing one or two things on ms or screenshot it when you are done with google meet screenshot it when you are done everything screenshot it and put all the screenshots on the google docs please insert the information inside the email let me teach you when you come to e google here when you come to um and google docs here you see a place that shows here uh, yeah, under insert you see under insert you see insert image so with the screenshot that you in screen is where you can insert it here insert as many as possible then you copy this link at the assignment after you have finished everything then even this crm2 register it and at the end of the day you create a name create like three create um create like three names all right when you are done creating those three names you can now um screenshot it and then put it you can use my name dennis of writer my email just like you have seen and then you can now insert it here and then send it to the group that is your assignment for this remember i prioritize practicals and it's very important i love you and i will see you in the next class